Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Mario Morales. I'm a category manager for the Strategic Sourcing Division of the State Purchasing Department. Thank you for joining us today on the webinar for the State Contract for Facilities Maintenance, Repair, Operation, Industrial Supplies, and Tools. In short, MRO. Please note that all participants will be muted during the presentation. During the question and answer period, please submit your questions via the question panel. We have well over 100 participants from across the state. We'll do our best to respond to all questions. However, if we are unable to fill all the questions, we'll post response to the remaining questions on the DOS website. Additionally, this webinar is being recorded and will be posted in its entirety on the DOS website for your convenience. I will be your presenter today. Again, my name is Mari Morales. I'm a category manager in the goods group, and my contact information is being shown on the page. For our agenda today, we have Mr. Ed Macy covering Team Georgia Marketplace. We have Rodney Lynn covering Granger. We have Sonia Belichica covering Zep, and Scott McCammock covering MSC. What is the purpose of this information webinar? This session is designed to explain the purpose of the statewide contract, review the benefits of the statewide contract, highlight specific details related to the statewide contract, list the steps you would follow to find the statewide contract on the SPD website, include the suppliers selected, introduce the suppliers selected to provide products under this contract, discuss frequently asked questions related to the statewide contract, and describe the procedures to obtaining more information about the statewide contract. This contract can be best described as a preferred convenience contract. Your DOS procurement team has worked extremely hard to conduct a solid comp competitive solicitation for, the for these MRO categories, which resulted in a very deep discount on a preferred market basket, approximately 1,400 items of most, use, most frequently used throughout the state, as well as a very deep discount off the catalog list price for thousands of additional non-core items within the awarded categories. If you consider this full core market basket, you will see the awesome leverage of state spend which serve as a solid foundation for such favorable pricing, pricing which would be very difficult to compete with independently on this contract. Again, resulting from very competitive buying bidding environment with DOS. The contracts were awarded to Granger for outdoor garden supplies and equipment, material handling, HVAC, and electrical items. For ZEP, they have the cleaning category, which includes chemical and non-chemical, and MSC, hardware, tools, safety, and security categories. It is very important to note that each of these suppliers are contracted to provide only the awarded categories under this contract. Again, Granger, outdoor garden supplies, material handling, HVAC, and electrical equipment, which include air filters, plumbing, motors, and accessories, including batteries and flashlights, ZEP, cleaning, chemical and non-chemical. MSC, hardware, safety, tools, which include pneumatic tools, hand tools, power tools, welding, and soldering. The projected go live date for the new contract is set for September 4th. We are working with all our suppliers toward this goal. We'll keep everyone posted regarding the go live date as we proceed. 
which are key benefits to this contract and include discount of approximately 1,400 core items and thousands of non-core items, next day delivery and shipping at no charge, P cards are accepted, fax and phone orders are accepted, online ordering available through Team Georgia Marketplace, efficient return and warranty process, dedicated account management team, access of numerous environmental friendly green products offering in the, the clean category, no minimum order requirements. I would now like to introduce Mr. Ed Macy, who will provide information regarding Team Georgia Marketplace. Ed? Okay, thanks Mario. If we could have the, uh, the first slide, Nicole. Okay, so this is the Team Georgia Marketplace landing page um, as it looks today. And really your experience for MRO as the new contract takes effect will be similar to what you're experiencing currently. Um, you're going to, going to continue to get ZEP items, the cleaning items, through the ZEP hosted catalog. There is going to be no change there. ZEP is a hosted catalog under the current contract. It will be a hosted catalog under the new contract. Uh, there was some talk about maybe moving them to punch out and it was elected not to do so. So you'll be getting your ZEP items by basically shopping at the top, as we call it, and searching for items that ZEP supplies. Those items will show up in the search results. You will keep it on this page just for a moment, Nicole. You will also see, uh, it's not there now, but under MRO facilities, you'll see a punch out icon for Granger, and you'll see a punch out icon for MSC. And you will use those punch out icons to procure categories that are covered by those two suppliers. Uh, if you are a Team Georgia Marketplace user, you'll be able to combine items from each supplier in one cart because Team Georgia Marketplace does allow you to do that. So you could do a hosted catalog search for Zep, put some of those items in your cart. You could punch out to Granger and get some of the items that are covered by Granger. And then if you have tools and such that MSC covers, you can put those items in your cart as well and submit one card. Now, if you are one of our member institutions, for instance, Georgia State, Georgia Tech, and the other schools, I believe that your instances of SideQuest require you to have separate cards for each supplier. But again, um, very similar experience to what you're experiencing now. It's just uh, slightly different players in the contract. Okay. okay. Thank you, Ed. Appreciate it. For follow-up questions regarding Team Georgia Marketplace, you can contact our help desk at 404-657-6000. I'd now like to introduce Mr. Rodney Lynn from Granger. Rodney? Good afternoon, everybody, and uh, thank you for uh, participating in the, in the WebEx today. We're just going to give you a general overview of Granger, um, our capabilities, um, how to contact us and, and some of the services that we offer. So this is um, our agenda uh, for today for Granger. Um, uh, my name is Rodney Lynn. I'm the government sales manager for uh, the state of Georgia. Um, I'm the person who um, manages the backside of your contract and, and make sure that uh, we stay in compliance with the state. And um, I have with me today uh, Patrick McGowan, who's the district sales manager for the state of Georgia and ultimately responsible for our um, sales force. So who is Granger? Um, Granger is a company that tries to help you save time and money by, you know, getting you the right products at the right time. Um, we, we do business with over 2.2 million um, customers throughout the United States. And we have over 18,000 employees uh, worldwide. Just try to give you a little background on, on Granger and, and the uh, size of the company that we are. Uh, we were founded in uh, 1927. Uh, we're publicly traded on the uh, New York uh, Stock Exchange under the symbols uh, GWW. Um, we've got over 600 branches. We have a uh, billion dollars worth of inventory on the floor. Um, every day to for delivery to our to our customers, 
and we are the leading supplier of MRO in the United States. So these are the award, the uh, categories that were awarded to Granger under the um, new MRO contract. So uh, we have electrical, and you can see under electrical some of the things that fall there from breakers to conduit, to extension cords, to power supplies, wire, and things like that. Um, then we have material handling, which is everything from rack and storage to dock equipment, hand trucks, um, bins, carts, ladders, and lockers. And then we have HVAC, which is, you know, heating, ventilation, and, and air conditioning. So it has to do with, you know, refrigeration, you know, blowers, fans, uh, ventilation pumps, uh, motors, and um, we also have uh, plumbing that falls under that category. Uh, then we have outdoor equipment, so things like hoses, generators, you know, uh, pruners, shovels, wheelbarrows, sprinkler systems, um, things of that nature. So Granger Logistics, uh, this is how we get it done or how we get it delivered to you 99% um, of the time next day. So we have nine distribution centers across the United States. Uh, we keep about 240,000 different uh, line items in those distribution centers in stock. Um, and we have over 5 million uh, SKUs available to you every day through our extended vendor network. So coverage, this is Granger in the state of Georgia. So we have branch locations in the state of Georgia. And we have two distribution centers that service uh, the state of Georgia. One's out of uh, Fountain Inn, South Carolina, which is Greenville, South Carolina. And then we have one out of Jacksonville, Florida. Now what that means to you is by having such large facilities um, you know, near the state of Georgia that we're able to um, if we received an order by 5 p.m. today, be able to get you your uh, products via UPS or motor freight the following day. So Granger, at Granger, we know we can help you uh, reduce inventory and uh, help you reduce your process cost. Um, you know, basically, you know, the the investment in inventory on your end can be minimal because. We keep a lot of products in stock for next day delivery. Um, and then the state's done a great job of putting together a contract that uh, has fosters competitive pricing for you as end users. Now I'm going to talk about some of the contract benefits. Um, goals of uh, the contract and, and Granger's participation is to help you drive cost savings in your business uh, to some extent, some supplier consolidation, uh, reduce the number of transactions that you that you have to place to, to maintain your facilities, um, help you manage uh, inventory, and most importantly, to make sure that we're all in contract compliance. So some of the resources that Granger has to serve you, um, many of you will have a local um, sales representative to call on you. Uh, we have um, support people who can come into your business and help you cross-reference cross um, your products into um, more costly products. Uh, we have a consulting services group. Uh, we have product specialists uh, for, for certain uh, commodities. Um, we have great relationships with a lot of our key vendors in the categories that we were awarded, and we're real big on uh, green compliance. Again, we talked earlier about inventory. So not only do we have inventory in the Jacksonville and Greenville, South Carolina distribution centers, we also have those 14 branches uh, throughout the state of Georgia where you, know, you can pick up the phone, you can call them, or you can drop by the branch to pick up uh, whatever you may need. Um, again, the majority of what you would order from Granger is shipped the same day for delivery the following day. Um, what a lot of people don't realize about Granger is we do have 24-hour emergency service. So by calling 
call WWG. You can get a hold of a Granger, somebody at Granger, 24 um, hours a day. Uh, one of the things that um, that we have is a basically it's a no hassle return uh, process. So if you know something's damaged or you didn't like it or you you know you ordered the wrong product, um, really it would take a pretty extenuating circumstance for us not to be able to to process your turn your return. Um, and again, part of the contract is uh, free shipping. And we're going to talk just a second about inventory management. So, obviously, better management of your inventory will help you, re you know, reduce your cost. And the other day, we're kind of talking about where you keep your inventory for MRO. Um, I know in some instances, the uh, inventory is you know, well maintained, well organized. And you know, obviously, there's also some that um, could use a little assistance in that organization. So Granger has a program called Keepstock, and we're able to come in there and kind of uh, work with you to evaluate your your inventory and it's how how it's organized, and be able to put in some type of system that allows you to become more um, more efficient. So basically, this is what Keepstock looks like. So we have um, one called Keep Stock Label, where basically we come in and help you label your inventory. Um, we have one called called uh, Keep Stock Scan, where you know we label we label your inventory, and then we also have a scanner that allows you to help replenish your inventory. Then we're able to also do uh, inventory uh, management in a vehicle. So we call that. Uh, keep stock mobile and we have another one called keep stock track where we can actually show you receipts and issues from that inventory and then we also have keep stock secure which is basically a vending machine um, that allows you to secure uh, your products and then we have keep stock on site and that's where a Granger employee uh, would be at your site helping you uh, manage inventory and then our last uh, offering under Keep Stock is an actual on-site Granger store. So, how do you purchase from Granger? Uh, you can call us 800-323-0620. Um, um, that's a number that goes nationwide. Uh, anybody will pick up the phone. Then we have a service center in the state of Georgia. And that number is 888-803-7320. Um, again, orders uh, placed by 5 p.m. today will be shipped today for next day delivery. Or you can click www.granger.com and same thing there. So orders that are placed by 5 o'clock will be shipped the same day. Or again, you can stop by one of our 14 uh, branches in the state of Georgia and, and pick up your order. So for emergency orders, um, this is the, the steps that you would go through to take care of that. If you've got a local Granger representative, obviously you would call them first. Uh, you can also pick up the phone and call a local branch. Um, you'll speak to the customer service representative, um, and they'll take care of you, and you can pick up that need or your needs um, there at the branch. And again, uh, for after hours, we've got... 1-800-225-5994. Thank you, Rodney. Uh, before moving on to our next company, Zep, we'll open the floor for any questions you may have for uh, Granger. Do we have any questions? First question, does this include plumbing and supplies? Uh, 
Um, yes, it does um, include plumbing and supplies. Second question: Is any other is any other than verbal that will allow for correct pricing in the store? contract pricing in the store. So I think the question is, if you walk into the store, how would you get the correct pricing that is our contract pricing? Oh, um, so in our system, um, the um, all of the end users in the state of Georgia are placed under a particular code. There references the discounts of the contract. So when you whether you go to a store, whether you go to Granger.com, Team Georgia Marketplace, uh, you should receive the same pricing. Now, it's particularly driven by your account number, which representative can provide for you if you do not have it available. Next question. When purchasing in a store, how does the agency determine what items are contract or OMP since the entire catalog is no longer on contract? The categories that were awarded to to Granger are the categories that you would follow under the contract. This is a convenience contract. It's not a mandatory contract, Scott. Next question. Will we use the same website we use, we use now, or do we have to be set up again? This is an MRO website with Granger since the contract has changed. Uh, you can still access the contract through TGM, but I'll also let um, Ed answer that question. So I think there there might be two things here. There really is, in terms of Team Georgia Marketplace or uh, one of the sites for the member institutions like Georgia State, UGA, uh, Georgia First, uh, really no change. You're still going to get into your site, whether it's Team Georgia Marketplace or one of the other sites, and you'll just click on the Granger punch-out icon. So that's the same, but I think this question may have related to another Granger website that you may have as well for users that don't use Team gotcha. Georgia Marketplace. Granger. So for those users who use Granger.com, um, your pricing will be available based upon your account number as well. So if you were to log in, um, receive your login for Granger.com, you would be able to see the same pricing as well. Next question. I'd like to know if there's any options if we feel as though we have an assigned representative from Granger that is not responsible to our request? I would say definitely. You can reach out to uh, any of the branches or ne necessarily to me. I am the uh, district manager for most of the outside sales reps, and I can get you in touch with the responsible manager for that person. If need be, you can reach me at patrick.mcgowan at granger.com, and that's P-A-T-R-I-C-K, period, M-C, G O W A N at Granger.com. And I'll be happy to respond to your request as soon as possible. Patrick, do you want to give my phone number? Oh, yes. Let me also give you my phone number as well. I can be reached at area code 678 478 8555. Again, that's 678 478 8555. For any core items, what kind of discounts is for non-core item? What kind of discounts is available, if any? The discounts vary per per category and um, and are, are part of the award notice. And it's and it's in the contract, basically what the discounts are for for the non-category items. Next questions: Are we allowed to return? Unneeded. unneeded products under this contract? As long as they're, if their Granger items are in their original package um, and in good condition, uh, we'll talk to you about returning. And anything on the contract would follow our typical guidelines when it came to comes to returns or on items. Have any other questions? We'll give it a minute before we 
tell our friends from Granger thank you for their participation um, to see if there's any other questions from the panel. Okay, so the next question is, how often are prices updated in Team Georgia Marketplace? We have issues when we place the order and when the invoice is received, the price is different. Um, so in this case, I mean, that, 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 that is a, a, an issue that happens sometimes with hosted content, but we shouldn't be seeing much, if at all, of that now. I'm sorry. We shouldn't be seeing much of that with the punch-out site because the punch-out site is, basically live and maintained by the supplier. So what we would ask is just if you see those, please bring them to us and the uh, e-procurement team and we'll investigate. Um, I think one thing we always have to be cognizant of is from the time the requisition is created to the time it's approved, we want to try to minimize that time and that will minimize instances such as you described. But absolutely, Norris, uh, get back in touch with us and we can investigate further for you. Okay, at this time we'd like to welcome Sonia Belitnikov and Don <laughs> McDaniel from ZIP. Thank you, Mario. <laughs> uh, first off, we know that some of you may be familiar with ZEP as we've had a contract with the state in the past, and for others of you were new, so we just wanted to make a basic overview introduction. Uh, we are very proud that Georgia has chosen the Georgia-based company and keeping jobs in our state, which we're excited about. Uh, we have been here for 75 years, and we manufacture cleaning chemicals right here in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, very uh, top quality products that we are proud to share with the state of Georgia. Um, as you see on this next list that we have, a full line of cleaning products, cleaning chemicals, and janitorial and housekeeping items. Um, thank you. And another thing we'd like to focus on are green cleaning products. We know that a lot of the schools, universities, and government buildings are looking into LEED certification. That's become a big part of what you're doing out there. We want you to be aware that we can help you achieve those credits with the products that the state has done in our contract. Uh, the value that we have for the state agencies, we understand that as you're going through, you may be purchasing with other suppliers and have challenges matching the products that you need to the products that Zeph offers. So we want you to be aware that we have a tech service team that you can reach uh, all business hours, full time of the week, and you can call this number that's at the bottom, the 877-I-BUY-ZEPH. Option six and option two will put you in touch with a tech service individual that can help you through the product challenges you may have with matching or finding out what the right cleaning product is for your facility. And additionally, we have reps that are willing to come out to your site and see on site uh, what cleaning issues you may have, what matches you might need to the product that you're currently using. So please just let us know if you'd like to get in touch with one of those individuals. Uh, again, I think as all the vendors have gone through, the options for ordering are the same for all of us. Uh, you have the website through DOAS to utilize. And we have our customer service phone number for you to call in, which we'll get to in a second. And additionally, like we said, if you'd like an individual to come out to your site, we have a ZEP rep for that. So here's the number that you need to make sure you have, and this will be accessible later, but it's the I buy ZEP number, 877-428-9937. Now I want everyone to just be aware that if you're an agency with the state of Georgia, you are already set up as an account. So when you call into this number, it will be asking you if you're an existing account you all are existing accounts. If you do not know your account number, they're able to look that up for you based on your address. So just have your address, your billing address, and your ship to address um, on hand. They'll be able to provide you with that number. So the next time you may need to call in, it will be a lot smoother transition. OK, thank you, Sonia. Uh, before we leave, uh, I'll open the floor for questions. Surely somebody has a question about our wonderful cleaning supplies at ZEP, huh? Um, 
Yeah, I just wanted to say, uh, everyone, uh, good afternoon. This is Don McDaniel. I'm the Director of Sales for the Southeast United States here with ZEP. Uh, Sonia uh, is our lead person on the State of Georgia contract and has done a great job putting this together with, with Mario and his team. Uh, I'd like to just say thank you for the opportunity and, and please consider us whenever you're evaluating uh, your cleaning and maintenance needs at your facilities. Uh, if you'd like us to, uh, one of the values that we deliver uh, is our personal sales reps to come out and do a site assessment at each of your facilities. And in doing that, we can make recommendations on what program we feel would help you uh, maximize uh, your cleaning, uh, both in terms of labor and price uh, at each of your facilities. So this is no charge from ZEP. Uh, we can send a rep out and uh, team our rep up with your facilities manager uh, and go through the site analysis and uh, provide recommendations uh, on cost savings, uh, lead certification, uh, or whatever it is that's important to you uh, and meet your goals at your facility. So uh, thank you for your consideration. Okay, do we have any questions? Ah, one question. What is the return policy? And just a comment, packing list sometimes doesn't accompany the order. We need this to, for a PCARD statement, please. Uh, Jody, let me try to answer that. I don't know the specifics on whether or not a packing slip uh, accompanies an order. Uh, Sonia is shaking her head that it should. It always should, so please bring that to our attention if it's not. Um, so maybe that was an error that occurred uh, on on your specific order, but please, if if that occurs, let us know. Get make it you know uh, let our rep know or let us know, and we'll get it corrected for you. Hi Dana. In regards to the material safety data sheets that I think you're asking about, um, those will not come with all orders. However, those are available directly on our website, and you can search by the product number, product name, and their PDF and they can be clicked on there. If you'd like one sent to you, uh, when you call customer service or speak with someone or even in your order, just make a note that you would like that sent and that will come, come with your order. Uh, the other uh, response to that or an additional response, Dana, is that we do send MSDSs with the order for new customers who are placing orders with ZEP for the first, the first time. time. Uh, or if you add a line item that you have not purchased from ZEP in the past that you're a current ZEP customer, but, if, but are adding a line item that you haven't purchased in the past, we'll send it MSDS with that product as well, okay. in addition to what's online. Okay. Next question. Still need information regarding return policy? I think the best response for me there, uh, Jody, is as long as the product is in resellable condition, uh, in other words, that it hasn't been used or is not damaged in any way, uh, our return policy is that we'll take it back. Uh, now, you know, generally within 90 days, I believe, is what our standard is uh, right now. Uh, so, um, you know, that pretty much is our guideline. Uh, so you can, you know, follow that for the most part, I think, and that should uh, get you uh, what you need. So if you have a product within 90 days uh, that's in resellable condition but you need to return it, we'll take it back. Does that answer Jody's question? Is that sufficient? I was hoping she would put yes up there. <laughs> we'll wait to see if there is any other questions. Thanks, Jody. Yeah, thank you, Jody. <laughs> All righty, any other questions? Well, thank you for having us today. We appreciate the opportunity. And again, please uh, contact us. Uh, we'd love to uh, work with you and, and uh, build a relationship with you. Have a great day. Thank you.
Okay, well now welcome Mr. Scott McCarrick and Mr. David Ornstein from MSC. They'll go ahead and present the categories for MSC. Scott, David. Thanks. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, MSC is very excited to be an awarded vendor for the State of Georgia Facilities Maintenance, Repair and Operation, Industrial Supplies and Tools Statewide Contract. Uh, we're going to take some time today to tell you about MSC and, and tell you some of the features and benefits that we can bring to the table. First, going to review the agenda. Um, I'm, my name is Dave Ottenstein. I'm the uh, state team manager for MSC. I'm responsible for state government sales throughout the United States, and we also have... I'm Scott McCammett. I'm the uh, state account manager that's responsible for our relationship with the state of Georgia and our other entities. And Scott lives here in Atlanta and will be the local contact. I'm going to take you through a history of MSC, just a brief introduction. I'm going to talk about the MSC economic impact, which uh, just to let you know, we have our largest distribution center based right here in Atlanta and a lot of associates that live in the Georgia, in the state of Georgia. We provide statewide coverage. We'll talk about that. We'll also spend a little time talking about the MSC solutions that are available to all the Georgia users. And then at, at the end, we'll highlight our individual Georgia program. There's the contact information for Scott and myself. Feel free to reach out to Scott first uh, if you need anything in particular, any help in Georgia. And then I'm also available as well as a backup. Let's talk a little bit about MSC. Uh, some of you may be familiar with us. For some of you, it may be the first time that you've ever heard of MSC. But we've been around for over 70 years. We were established in 1941. We are the world's largest metalworking distributor, and we're also one of the largest MRO distributors in the United States. We're very proud of our fill rate. We run a 99% fill rate and also have a same-day shipping guarantee on our products. And basically anything you order up until 8 o'clock at night, it's guaranteed to ship out that day, and you'll receive it the next day. We have a full suite of supply chain solutions available. And as you get to know your outside sales executives, these are things that we can bring to the table and help you with. We have four very large customer fulfillment centers located throughout the country. And as you can see, the third one down is right here in Atlanta. It's actually in Mableton. And it's our largest facility with over 720,000 square feet. We have a very uh, strong e-commerce capability. And we're in the process of integrating uh, with the state of Georgia right now on the various punch-out sites. And as I mentioned earlier, we have a next-day delivery program uh, as a standard delivery process. Give you a little idea about the size of MSC. Uh, we have over 320,000 active customers. We carry a lot of our products in stock. We have over 600,000 items in stock ready for delivery. As you can imagine, that's a lot of, a lot of items, but they're there and we're able to be your um, inventory. We have level three procurement uh, cards available. Late, basically, we provide level three reporting as a standard feature, which I know the state of Georgia was very interested in. And we've been providing level three for a long, long time. We have over 4,300 associates at MSC. We work with over 3,000 suppliers. And we have over 100 branches uh, located throughout the country. And we'll get into a little bit more of a breakdown of where those branches are that cover the state of Georgia. But first, I'll turn it over to Scott to talk about the economic impact for Georgia. Thanks, Dave. Uh, in the state of Georgia, with our distribution center in Mableton, we have over almost 500 uh, associates that live here in the state of Georgia throughout the state. Uh, with the economic impact, we were able to uh, contribute through our associates. They received over $20 million in wages, taxable wages. For the income tax that we paid was a little over $700,000. Uh, for products that we sold in the state of Georgia to our customers, we collected a little over a million dollars. And then in Cobb County with the Customer Fulfillment Center, it was a little over $580,000 that we paid in uh, real estate taxes. To give you a little breakdown on our, our coverage, what I've listed here are our branch man sales managers and the number of associates that 
sales associates that they have working out of their branch covering just strictly government sales. So Mark Bond, who's out of our Atlanta store or the, the facility out of Mableton, has five a, a sales associates. DJ Erksa, who's out of Nor uh, Norcross, he has six uh, outside sales associates. We are in the process of opening up a new facility in Warner Robins, and Chad Hughes will have five associates out of that branch calling on state and local government business in central Georgia. Then we also have over in Augusta with Glenn Polite, he has two associates right on the eastern side, uh, middle of the state, that are calling on state and local facilities. And then out of Charleston, South Carolina, we have three associates that are around the Savannah area that will be calling on state and local business. Out of uh, Chattanooga, Rick Niles has one sales associate that covers the nor northwestern part of the state. And then out of Jacksonville, Florida, Rob Fernando has two sales associates that, that cover the lower part from Brunswick all the way over to Albany. So as you can see, uh, we've got a lot of coverage in the state of Georgia. And we've got additional support through those uh, branch sales offices. Uh, the customer support is actually the inside sales team that can help you. Then we also have our state account team, which are our outside field sellers. They're there. Down below you'll see the technical team, and the technical team for the company is based out of uh, Mableton, Georgia, out of our call center there. And they can help you with products and product applications if you have questions in regards to those. And by calling the local branch, they can directly connect you to that product team. Then also with our product specialists, those are our outside sellers as well as uh, using the resources of our manufacturers and suppliers. Then you'll see um, on the uh, far bottom left, VMI support, which means vendor managed inventory. And we also work with another piece called customer managed inventory, or CMI. You may hear our associates talk about those type of solutions. Um, but look, we'll go to the next slide and talk about vending solutions. And what we have there is a, a capability that we can provide, a solution that we can provide that can help bring on different configurable solutions to meet your specific needs and dispensing products. Um, maybe you have a, a storeroom or a tool room that's only open from 9 to 5, but um, you need to have safety products available 24-7. These type of solutions can help you with that, and our outside sales associates can work with you in those type of things. But we just wanted to bring that to your attention that these are some of the uh, solutions that we do have available. I'm going to turn this one over to Dave, and he can talk about cost savings. As we all know, cost savings is important to everyone in this environment that we're in across the country, and particularly in, in Georgia as well. And what we can offer to you uh, as part of our standard offering is cost savings documentation, uh, whether it's helping you reduce the number of purchase orders, helping you on new processes and implementation, reducing inventory, um, savings on individual SKUs, freight savings if that's applicable, uh, providing and suggesting alternative products that can save uh, time and money, productivity savings, and then one that's a, an interesting one listed on the bottom of the page is training. We offer a vast array of training uh, to our customers, either through our partners with the various vendors, and we also have specialty training that's available through MSC. Um, that we can provide as well, and we can uh, help each of you with, you know, once we get to know more about your individual needs. We also have a best-in-class um, company website. It's called msdirect.com, and as I mentioned earlier, we're in the process of linking that through the Georgia State Procurement Punch-Outs and Portals. Um, it's a very intuitive website. Uh, it's it's made to be user-friendly. It's compatible with all of our solutions, the vendor-managed inventory, for instance. One feature that's very uh, helpful that we believe is helpful is the real-time inventory visibility. So if you're shopping for a large number of items or, or unusual items, you can see if they're in stock and where they are. That's all available to you. Um, you're able to set up user roles and spending limits for you know, if you're an administrator or a requisitioner. Another interesting thing that MSC brings to the table is a good, better, best offering. 
So if there's particular needs you have that may be a one-time usage, you may want to just get a good item. If you have something that you want to spend extra money on because you want to make it last for a long time, everything's broken out by a good, better, best type of solution and listing. If you log on with your customer ID, your customer-specific pricing will all be available for you. We offer cross-referencing on there, so if you use any of the national competitors or vendor numbers, generally we can cross it for you. Uh, if you want to run reports on any uh, history of your orders, or if you want to check on the status of an order, it's all available through our website. And then another strong offering that we have is what we call Report Manager. And basically, you can build your own reports on, on anything that you've ever ordered before, looking at who purchased it, who, where it was delivered, particular items, projects, et cetera. So it's a very, very uh, helpful tool. And then MSDS sheets that people need uh, you know, every now and then. This is an easy way to go in and, and get them printed up. And that's, like I said, all available on mscdirect.com. So that's a little bit about the company and what we have to offer. I'll turn it back over to Scott, and he can talk about the particular program that we have available for Georgia. Great. So the categories that we won were safety and security. The tool category that was broken down um, in subsections with power tools, hand tools, test and measurement equipment was in there, welding and soldering, and then the hardware, fasteners, and the lubricants and the T-SIPs. And what we were asked at the time was there was a core market basket, 581 items, and the state had came back to, to all of us and said, give us your best price. So that's what we put in place there, and that's why we were awarded these categories. And then they have the non-core non items and asked for a discount off of our website. So you'll see there listed by those categories the additional discount that you'll receive off of the MSC Direct uh, price that's listed on their website. So 20% off on safety and security. Hardware items, fasteners, the lubricants and adhesive, the 20%. And that hand tool category uh, and measurement equipment, as well as pneumatic tools, it was 20%. Then in the welding and soldering group, 15% and power tools, 12%. So. Okay, thank you, Scott. Thank you, Dave. We'll now open up for any questions that the panel may have. Okay, first question. When buying cleaning supplies cheaper than local dealer, uh, we'll go ahead and answer that question um, when we post it because that question is for Zeph and Zeph is no longer in the room. Uh, next question, how do you get a catalog? Great. Um, what you can do, you can shoot me an email or, or give me a call. That's my cell phone that's listed there. And I'll get with our outside sales associate once I know where your location's at, and we'll make sure that we have them come out to a formal introduction and get you, you know, well versed and get you some of our big book catalogs. Okay, the next question, the same thing about a catalog. Could you show the local reps again? Sure. Those are our, our branch sales managers, and then the local reps report to those individuals. But if you want to know who your local rep is, just shoot me an email. And I'll, I'll get that information to you. Okay. Next question. Does this contract eliminate HD supplies? Yes, it does. HD supply is no longer part of our contract. Okay, we punch out. Catalog have only contract or not? Yes, we will. Just have the contracted items, right? That's right. Mm -hmm. The core, not the core, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. It will have the core items, and you, you look at the uh, website for the non-core. Our category. Yeah. I'll wait to see if there's any additional questions. In the meantime, we'll go back to the page with the um, reps for MSC that was um, requested. Oh, 
One more. Okay. And then we'll move to the second page. Those were the branch phone numbers, right? Yeah. Okay. Except for Chad. Next question, does this contract cover repair or does, does it just cover supplies? It covers only products and supplies. Repairs is not part of this contract. Is, D, is DOS going to replace HD supply renovation services portion of the old MRO contract? The question, to, the answer to that is no. Uh, there's an easy IQ contract that is in place that can be used for services. Next question, what is the effective date? The start date of this contract is September 4th, 2012. What about purchasing plumbing fixtures? The plumbing fixtures are part of the contract. And I think they were awarded to a Granger, if I'm not mistaken. So that is a, under the Granger contract. Uh, we give it a few more minutes before we uh, thank our, our guests, but we'll leave it open for a few more minutes for any questions you may have. If um, you think of any questions after we're closed, uh, please email those to me, and we'll have those posted um, when we go ahead and post the, the webinar. Can you show the zip slide for the green products? Yes, we'll go ahead and show it in a minute. Um, our household refrigerant, refrigerators and appliances covered? No, appliances and refrigerators are not covered on this contract. Yeah, if you don't mind. Oh, yeah, thank you. Go, go back. Go, yeah, green, green, like that's it. <laughs> okay. Uh, next question, may we still purchase appliances from HD Supply? There is a ruling that's taken place uh, within Georgia State Purchasing, and I think that ruling will allow you to use the HD Supply that, uh, through the consortium. That announcement is um, forthcoming shortly. We need to purchase commercial kitchen and laundry equipment from HD Supply. 
an old contract. I'll be these items available from non-core from supplier. No, anything that HD supplier was providing is no longer available on contract. But again, the change that we have in state purchasing will allow you to uh, use the consortia contract after posting uh, your requirements. How do we log in for password for MSC when login is web that will not show our contract discount? Okay, the uh, all pricing and that will be loaded effective September 4th. So if you're going to order through a state portal on the punch out, you'll see the pricing there. Um, but we won't go live with this pricing until the 4th of uh, September. So we'll set them up with passwords yeah. when the time comes. Right. So if you're going to go to MSC Direct and want to use that portal to, to order from, we can have one of our outside sales associates work with you and get you registered and set up on the MSC Direct to order. Go back a few few pages. Okay. Yeah, just I thought I was saying something about setup. Oh, on the uh, yeah. Uh, on website. Yeah, yeah. I think you could probably leave, leave the, the previous page and make, make a contact stop. Yeah, just get with me and I can get you in touch with the right sales associate for your account. We'll wait a few more minutes to see if there's any additional questions. Okay, we have a few more questions. What will the webinar be available on your website? Uh, the webinar should be available tomorrow on the website, on the DOS website. Next question, does MSC contract include machinery? No, the contract does not include machinery. They were awarded the tools, hardware, safety, and security categories. In the tools that had yet yeah, in the tool category in in the section of power tools um, when you look at the market basket you will see what MSC defines as machinery like a uh, a bandsaw or a drill press so those items are in there on the mar and in that market basket thank you
Okay, we'll go ahead and take um, two more questions if anyone out there um, wants to ask. If not, okay, here we have one question. Will the AC supply contract still be in effect until the new one takes over? Yes, it will. Okay, last question. Okay, it appears that we don't have any more questions, so I want to thank you for your time. Again, should you have any questions, my contact information with email address is on the screen. Uh, you can email those to me by close of business tomorrow, and we'll go ahead and post those also. Again, thank you for your time, and we appreciate you guys joining us.